All right, guys. Uh, I thought I'd do a quick video on this because this could probably help out quite a few G-Body guys. I mean, this would be pretty much any fan switch uh, from like a, uh, even a square body. You know, a lot of the 70s and 80s GM, uh, probably pretty much the same thing. Uh, anyway, your fan switch for your low, medium, and high on your on your blower uh, for your HVAC system. Uh, how many of them have you ever had? Because I know I've had quite a few. Uh, like the high didn't work, but low and medium did. Uh, so before you go spend, you know, 20 or however much it is for a new switch, uh, all it is is contacts. Uh, so I've taken one apart here to show you the differences. Now there are two styles that I found on G-Bodies. I always take mine apart and clean them. It's just, uh, you know, preventative maintenance. Uh, this is something that, that does need to be addressed, uh, especially if you already, you know, have one out of your car. You know, these things, they have grease in them from the factory and I've seen the grease just hard as a rock and encased in gritty dirt uh, so all it does is just com continue to grind the plastic down uh, so anyway uh, it, it just uh, you know use like Windex 409 whatever in a toothbrush get down in there and clean all this up uh, top and bottom uh, that's what I'm fixing to do next and then go back and grease it again uh, you can use just about any grease. Uh, I like to use white uh, assembly grease because uh, it's kind of soft, you know. Um, anyway, uh, I usually clean these little contact points on this switch too. Uh, use a brass bristle brush or a piece of Scotch Brite, or even if you got just a flat blade screwdriver, you can sit there and scrape a little bit to get that clear because they're just they're dull, you know. Uh, but anyway, back to the fan switch. So if you've got a, a certain setting on your blower that is not working, this is how you fix it. So you take it apart. There's one screw right there. It's a quarter inch socket. Uh, undo that and you pull it off. Now what you get, uh, what you look at is uh, there's this little tab right here, which is pretty much on this one is black right here. This one's white. Now this is uh, what I call the old switch. This is like from this 80 Regal, and this is from like an 87 Regal. Uh, so anyway, after you uh, basically take a screwdriver, flat blade screwdriver, and it, it clips in and back in that little hole right there, but once you have it off and out, uh, you take a little flat blade screwdriver and pop one side of this uh, over, and then you know pop the other side and it'll pop off there. Now. Make sure you're uh, doing it on a towel or something uh, because these little springs will fly out. Now, the, this is the old design. This is all there is. The newer design, which is like mid-80s and up, has a little bitty ball bearing with a spring behind it right here. I don't know if you can see that or not. A little bitty ball bearing right there. Anyway, it'll try to come out on you, so, so just be aware of that. Uh, so anyway, once you get that top piece off, now your springs will fall out and they just go right back in the little cups right there. Uh, but anyway, this is your contact right here. Look at the, how nasty that is. Uh, the one, I just cleaned this one, and it is terribly. It was really, really bad green corroded. Um, so anyway, what I did basically is I wiped it down with a rag, and then I used a scotch Brite and I cleaned up the contacts real good because uh, it just cleans it right off. I cleaned this real good, wiped it off, and then I scotch brighted everything. Got it, got it all nice and clean. Uh, I then used dielectric grease and just kind of spread it all around down in there. And then if you get to looking at this, this is, this does go one way. Uh, you'll notice they're triangle shaped, but these two are closer together and you'll see it right there. So basically, the springs go in them pockets. So you'd actually lay that back on just like that. Then you take this and you stick it in there like that and then hold it together and pop that in the other side and you're done. It's it's just a simple design so before you go spend any money you know take it apart what have you got to lose if you was planning on buying one you know what I mean. Uh, I actually had to fix the one in my square body because the high did not work on it and I did have a Monte Carlo a couple years ago that did the same thing. Uh, but anyway, it's just uh, something I thought I'd show that uh, I'm not trying to be a, a smart ass or anything like that. I just maybe it'll help somebody out because uh, it, it, I mean, after all, it is just contacts and it's just easy to clean. Uh, but I definitely 
definitely put some uh, dielectric grease on it because uh, it'll probably, if it was completely clean and dry and nothing on it, it would probably uh, arc a little bit and you may get little black specks in there which would later cause uh, a contact issue again. So anyway, just thought I'd show you that. I hope it can help somebody.